Greeting children in the previous class we had learned nutrients of food sources of food and availability of food in today's class let us learn the diversity of food in different places of karnataka for example north karnataka the common food of north karnataka jola da roti kosambari several palyas and curry etc next south karnataka the common food of south karnataka ragi ball butter dosa akki roti etc next coastal karnataka the common food of coastal karnataka fish curry neer dosa kori roti and mangalore buns next malnad A varieties of jackfruit based dishes is one of the specialties of Malnad. Snacks like halasina hannina kadubu or jackfruit idli and kayi kadubu being the most popular among them. Next kodagu the common food of kodagu kadumbutu or steamed rice dumplings. Bamboo shoot curry pork curry akki roti and chicken curry children although we are of the same state our food system is on the basis of the climate and the food materials which are grown in the region in which we live the food which we eat is decided by the tradition of particular family our food changes according to the seasons like summer rainy and winter so let us learn the food we eat in different seasons in summer season the weather will be very hot therefore it is quite better to have liquid food like more juices buttermilk and malts to stay our body hydrated the climatic conditions will be very chill in both winter as well as rainy season therefore it is safe to eat the food which is being hot should not eat stale food children nowadays our food habits are becoming similar because of magazines advertisement cooking related programs telecasted in tv channels and radio the new food habits have become common due to the use of internet in mobile phones and computers then cookery books reasons for changes in our food habits consumption of junk food like pizza burger sauce samosa corn flakes soup noodles ice cream chocolate chips have increased instead of consuming nutritious homemade food junk food means the food material which has less nutritional value or is unnecessary from the health point of view next consuming sauce rich food items like gobi manchurian pani puri chinese food has become common the sauce contains certain chemicals which make food tastier consuming the outside food instead of homemade food is on the increase today use of ready made food is increasing in the mechanical life of city or town Next let us learn the effects of change in food habits eating junk food people fall sick easily poisonous chemicals enter the body due to the intake of tasty food instead of healthy food body is losing the power to fight diseases consumption of spicy food and junk food has given rise to obesity problems next ready made food packets nowadays food we eat is now available in packets while buying these packets we must observe date of manufacture and expiry date the ingredients added to the stuffs or quantity of chemicals temperature needed to preserve the packet children it is dangerous to eat food stuffs which have expired or consist of a lot of added chemicals wasting of food 
throwing away food which is worth consuming is called wasting of food it is important to preserve a food or food stuffs without wasting and spoiling them nowadays food stuffs are preserved by following some methods they are we know the taste of pickles salt is added to it in order to avoid spoiling for many days chemicals like sugar are used to preserve the fresh fruits grapes are dried and used as dry grapes fish meat and milk are preserved by storing them at very low temperature it is called cold storage for example refrigerator good food keeps us healthy physically and mentally food is the essence of our life to be healthy it is important to protect ourselves by eating good food here ends your ninth chapter thank you children